about learning is that nobody can take it away from you a very good evening to all the beautiful people gathered here today ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the school management headmistress staff and students i adya nayak welcome you all to this grand event of our school an evening studded with little stars of our school will surely make it a memorable one for you uh, Our annual day is nothing short of a yearly celebration to look back at the talents, achievements, milestones and spirit of the unity of our students and all those who contributed collectively to their success and each year we strive to not only celebrate for a day but celebrate the journey as a whole. To begin with the stage program, I request our headmistress to ex escort the dignitaries onto the dais. It's not what we have in life but who we have around us that matters. With this quote I now call upon my friends to welcome the honorable guests and other dignitaries. I Swarali Prabhu of class 4 consider it a great honor to welcome Shri K Suresh Kamath sir joint secretary Kendra High School Association and correspondent of all Kendra institutions in the Dongakeri campus on this grand annual day celebration. Welcome sir. It's my pleasure to welcome our chief guest 
C. Sudhi Shane S., a proud alumnus of our school, who has graciously accepted our invitation to join us today. And Mrs. Anusha Shane, who has kindly consented to give away the prizes. I, re I request Shri M. Rangnath Bhatt, sir, Kenra Higher High School. Secretary, Canara High School Association, to give a floral welcome to C.A. Sudhi Shane. Thank you, sir. Now, I request our headmistress to give a floral welcome to Mrs. Anusha Shane. Years of rich experience in education field, loving person and the guiding spirit behind the Canara banner is none other than our honorary secretary, Sri M. Ranganath Bhatsar. I summon you of class 5, immensely pleased to welcome you to this August gathering, sir. with the conviction to learn and interest in the field of education always makes his presence in the school in spite of his busy schedule is our manager Mr. Yogesh R. Kamath sir. I, Swarali Prabhu of class 4, welcome you sir to our annual day celebration. I, Manet of class 4, extend a warm welcome to all the governing body members of Canra High School Association. I, Om Nayak of class 4, heartily welcome Mrs. Ujwal Malia ma'am. P.R.O. of Kendra Group of Guests. I request Kirtana Ma'am to introduce our guests to the gathering. I welcome all the retired headmistress and teachers of other school. Welcome to the gathering. We are indeed delighted to have amongst us a distinguished personality and an alumnus of Kandra Institution, CA Sudhir Shanai sir, as our chief guest. He graduated in commerce from Kandra College, Mangalore, and went on to become a chartered accountant in the year 2010. He also holds a diploma in information systems audit. He has worked in a multinational company in Dubai for five years. From 2016, he has been practicing in Mangalore. He is the guest lecturer of Department of Commerce in Manipal and at Vellore Institute of Technology. He is the son of Mrs. Sushitra Shanoi, the retired teacher of Kandra High School, Urwa. It's a pleasure to have you amongst us. Welcome, sir. We have Mrs. Anusha Shanoi, wife of C.S. Sudhir Shanoi. She has done her master's in pharmacy from the Manipal College of Pharmacy. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing the occasion. We are indeed honored to have you with us. Thank you, ma'am. Good things come to those who believe. Better things come to those who are patient. And the best things come to those who don't give up. With these inspiring words, let us move on to the prize distribution. I request Sujata ma'am to read out the names of achievers. It's time for the prize distribution ceremony. May I request Mrs. Anusha Shanai to please give away the prizes. We'll begin with standard third. Sahana Espai, first in drawing and first in Rangoli. Samhita A, 
best in Kannada. A Satvik Shane, general proficiency, best in maths, first in storytelling, second in drawing competition, and best handwriting from third A. Shragvi R. Hegde, first in English registration. M. Mahati Prabhu, best in English. Shrikarati, best in Kannada. Sunashi R. Acharya, general proficiency, best in Kannada, best in maths, and best handwriting from standard 3rd B. Ayush Kamath Bantwal, general proficiency, and best in maths. Ankush Kamath Bantwal, best in English and best in EVS. Dhruvidi Shetty, best handwriting from 3rd C. DRD, first in fancy dress. Kushi Suvarna, best in EVS. Sanvi Prabhu K, best in English, second in storytelling, second in English recitation. Sudeshna, second in fancy dress. Tanishka Kamath, second in Rangoli. Sudhanva Bhatt, best in EVS. Thank you, ma'am, for doing the honors. I request our chief guest, C.A. Sudhir Shane, to please give away the prizes. Moving to standard fourth, Aishwarya K., best in English. Arno Shane, general proficiency and best in EVS. Pratham Praveen, best in Kannada. Pratibha is second in English registration. Trishana Suvarna, best handwriting from 4th A. Aditi Prabhu, best in Kannada, second in Shloka recital, and best handwriting from 4th B. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to please encourage the prize winners. Agneya S.V. Bhandari, second in drawing. Ishanvi, best in EVS, first in Rangoli, and first in English essay. K. 
is Srivatsa Rao, based in Mats. Swarali Prabhu, General Proficiency, based in English, first in English registration and second in English essay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am glad to mention that Swarali Prabhu is the niece of our chief guest, C.A. Sudhir Shanai. A proud moment for both of them indeed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I request Shri K. Suresh Kamat, the president of the function, to do the honors. Tanvi Prabhu, second in fancy dress. Chinmay Shanai, best hand writing from 4th C. Sahana Kenny, first in patriotic singing. Havish P. Kulan, first in drawing. Niyati P. Acharya, second in Rangoli. Om Nayak, general proficiency, best in English, best in maths, first in shloka recital, first in fancy dress, and second in patriotic singing. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors. May I request Shri M. Rangnath Bhatt, the honorary secretary of Kendra High School Association, to give away the prizes. Prajwal Menden, best in Canada. Sai Krishna G. Shet, best in maths. <laughs> Nainika D, best in EVS. Just, okay. Moving to standard fifth. Aditya Krishna, general proficiency, best in Kannada, best in maths, and best in EVS. Arushem Karkera, best in EVS. Driti S, second in Rangoli. Dhruvi S, general proficiency, best in English, best in Canada, best in maths, first in English essay, and best handwriting from 5th A. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors. May I request Yogesh R. Kamath, our manager, sir, to kindly give away the prizes. Kriti R. Achar, best in EVS and second in English essay. Mariam Zara, best in English. Ritesh M, second in drawing. M. Rishika, general proficiency, best in English, best in Canada, best in maths, first in English registration, first in drawing, first in Rangoli, and second in shloka recital, and best handwriting from 5th B. <laughs> Rachana M., first in shloka recital. Thank you, sir, for doing the honors. May I request our headmistress, Mrs. Lelna J. Shanai, to do the honors. Harshika M., best handwriting from 5th C. Krishnashree Udupi, 
second, first in patriotic singing and second in fancy dress. Sachin Bhatt, second in English registration. Shrita Kamath B, first in fancy dress and second in patriotic singing. And the best cup award goes to Sachin Bhatt of fifth standard. And the best Bulbul award is backed by Manvi DP. Thank you, ma'am. With this, we conclude the prize distribution ceremony. Congratulations to all the prize winners. Thank you, dignitaries, for distributing the awards. Thank you, dear audience, for your encouragement and for cheering these young talents. Thank you, one and all. I request Varali to take over. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I invite our chief guest, C.A. Sudish Chinoy S. to come forward and address our esteemed gathering. Frankly speaking, I'm a bit nervous looking at the confidence of my niece, Swarali Prabhu. Respected uh, president of this function, Suresh Kamath sir. Secretary, Ranganath Bhatt sir. Yogesh Kamath sir, the manager. Lalina madam, headmistress. The dignitaries of the dais, Purushottam Shane sir and all other uh, dignitaries who have come here. To begin with, I would like to thank the management for uh, inviting me today as a chief guest of this function. Even though I am a chief guest, as per the invitation, I consider myself a student of all the teachers who have guided me and motivated me throughout my life. I take this occasion to remember some of my teachers. Bharati teacher, who was my class teacher in first standard, 1991. Maitri Madam, my sports teacher L Lakshmi Madam, late uh, Asha Jipai Madam who was my headmistress and uh, my favorite teacher Lavina Charlotte Madam. Are you there Madam anywhere here? I would like to thank Lavina Charlotte Madam. She is still teaching. She is one of the best teachers I have come across in my life. I am told to speak a few words about my experience in this institution. Instead, I would like to share a small story with you all, with your permission, Lalina Madam. Okay. We all have heard about angels and the demons. Angels are considered to be good, while demons are considered to be bad. But we know that Almighty God is the parent of both the angels and the demons. So as a parent, God is not partial, He is impartial. But always the demons feel that our parent is partial towards us because whenever there is a war, whenever there is a fight, always the angels win and the demons lose. So always they had a complaint. So they went to God. So God to clear their doubts, they arranged a dinner for both, both of them together. Both the angels and the demons were called, we can imagine a marriage hall, wherein a buffet is arranged, food is arranged, right hand side for the angels and the left hand side for the demons. 
the only tricky part was there was a screen in between so both of them could not see each other but they could hear so god said okay both of you start eating so the demons took their plates and went to the buffet counters and they served the food and when they were about to eat the food they were surprised that they could not eat because their hands were stuck they could not bend bend their elbows so they had served something on the plate but while trying to eat they cannot bend their elbows so the doubt which they had in their mind it increased they again thought that god is partial our parent is partial he has called us for this function arranged a lavish buffet for us but at the end when we are trying to eat we cannot eat so they sta- got angry that we cannot eat but the leader of the demons he told that let us wait and see what the angels are doing so let us go near the screen and see what is going on on the other side they cannot see but they can hear so they went near the screen and this heard that on the other side the angels are enjoying their food they can hear the angels sir one of the angel is telling oh, the biryani is very nice the gulab jamun is tasty all such talks are being heard by the demons so they got really angry their anger was out of control they spilled the food all the buffet counters were trashed and they created a big ruckus immediately god came and took off the screen so now they could see each other angels and demons could see each other to the surprise of the demons even the hands of the angels were stuck so how could they eat even the angels could not bend their hands but they could eat can anybody guess how is it yes madam they were feeding each other thank you madam for the lovely answer even if they could not eat by themselves if our hand is stuck we can feed others that is how the angels sat in front of each other and they fed each other and they enjoyed the dinner so god or our parents for that matter or our teachers are never impartial they are always impartial only thing is whether we are good or bad it's not the question of whether the story is true whether they ate biryani or not is it a false story or a true story that is not the matter the matter is about the moral all our teachers are there here to guide us all our parents are there here to guide us to motivate us above all there is god who is always impartial and he is always there for us we are standing here only because of the almighty our teachers and the parents so i would like to thank each and everybody lastly i would like to congratulate all the parents and students who are sitting here because you have taken one of the best decisions in your life by enrolling in your chil- children in kendra institutions i am sure that not only they will excel in their careers they will also become good citizens of india so thank you for listening to me patiently i appreciate that thank you one and all for devoting your precious time and sharing words of wisdom and your experiences ladies and gentlemen it's time for the presidential address i now request shri k suresh kamath sir to deliver presidential address Good evening everybody Chief guest of today Sudhir Shane Mrs uh, Anusha Shane Secretary of uh, Kendra High School Association Sri Ranganath Bhatt Governing body member and manager of Kendra High School Association Yogesh Kamath Headmistress 
Lalana Madam, my friend in the governing body, Basti Purushottam Chennai, our uh, PRO, Ujjwal Malya, headmistress, parents, retired headmistress, teachers, and my dear students. I would like to congratulate all the students who have come here and taken away the prizes. I would like to also congratulate the teachers who have inspired them and the parents who have motivated them to win the prizes. Congratulations to all of you. I would like to appreciate the efforts put in by Lalana Madam to conduct so many activities. Congratulations. Lalana Madam, a special congratulations to you on winning the Global Award in the Teachers' Olympiad. Today, our chief guest gave a very impressive story which had a moral in it that you should help others. If you see the first prospectors of Kenra High School in 1891, the aims of starting the school, the first aim itself is moral education. The second aim being learning of Sanskrit, the third one girl education, then it was uh, ed adult education, then technical education. But our founder, late Ammembal Subhravapai, saw that everything is implemented except maybe adult education because the working class never came for the late uh, the night classes which were conducted. Amembal Subrao Pai himself took moral science classes and he gave scholarship for Sanskrit students. Today I am really happy that uh, we are giving the prizes for students for sloka recitation. So the moral science and the sloka recitation has still continued. Girls' education anyway is there. That is why we get alum, alumnus like Sudhir Shanai. Today, we see that uh, the mobile and TV has taken over all the good hours of our small children. And uh, we see less number of children on the field and in the cultural, that is why our secretary thought that we should have a cultural academy and a sports academy. And this year we have started a cultural academy as well as sports academy. Those who have seen the dramas which were enacted in the English Higher Primary School, the Ekalavya and the Mowgli dramas, which were superbly enacted, were from the cultural academy. And from the sports academy, we have rifle shooting, we have cricket pitches. I request all the parents to take advantage of these academics and see that their students come out of the mobiles and TVs and come to the field and be physically fit. With these few words, I would like to again congratulate, congratulate the students who have performed the welcome dance and uh, I am sure you are eager to see the other cultural program so I would not like to come in the way and uh, I wish this school the best of uh, luck and the students, the, my best wishes to all the students of this school. May the school grow in greater heights. Jai Kendra, Jai Karnataka. <laughs> for your words of advice. Embrace the present moment as it's truly have. As a token of our respect and appreciation, I request Shri K. Suresh Kamat sir to hand over a memento to the chief guest. Thank you, sir. 
sir. Now I request Sri Yogesh R. Kamath, sir, to hand over a memento to Mrs. Anusha Shanoi, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. Now, I call my friends of class five to deliver the word of thanks. A very good evening to all gathered here today. In the words of Alice Walker, thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say, for it expresses extreme gratitude, humility and understanding. Today on this happy occasion, we feel privileged to have been entrusted this sacred duty of proposing vote of thanks on behalf of the entire school. I take this opportunity to express our sincere thanks and appreciation to all for gracing this important function. Our heartfelt reverence and endless gratitude to Sri Suresh Kamath sir, President of today's program and correspondent of Kendra Institutions at Dongarkeri campus. Thank you sir. I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our amiable thanks to Chief Guest of the Day, C.A. Sudhir Shenai sir. Thank you sir. A pleasurable thank you to Srimati Anusha Shane, ma'am, for giving away the prizes. Thank you, ma'am. I take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to Sri M. Rangnath Bhatt, sir, Secretary of Canara High School Association. Thank you, sir. I feel extremely happy to thank Sri Yogesh Kamath, sir, manager of our school, for his guidance and support. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to thank all the governing body members of Canara High School Association for gracing the occasion. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Mrs. Ujwal Malia, PRO of Canara Educational Institutions. Thank you, ma'am. A joyful thank you to all the heads and teachers of sister institutions. Our headmistress, Mrs. Lalina J. Shanae, ma'am, who empowers us to make the win favorable for our journey and help to reach further heights academically and culturally. My heartfelt thanks to you, ma'am, for all the guidance and support. A special thanks to Srimati Kamala Bhatt, Charan sir and team clan for choreography. I extend a big thank you to the PTA president and all the PTA representatives and dear parents present here today. Well, I would like to convey my profound gratitude to my teachers and non-teaching staff for all their supports and selfless service extended to us all through the program. I would like to convey my thanks to all my dear friends present here today. Thank, thank you everyone. everyone. Make, Make it, it a great day. day. I thank all the invitees for attending this grand annual day celebration today. Thank you. With this, we wind up the formal stage function. I request all the dignitaries to occupy the seats in the first row to watch the variety entertainment program. This is the most awaited time of the day. And I believe all the parents and well-wishers are excited to watch their children perform. I urge you all to sit back and have a nice time and share your words. Over to you, friends.
every day is a new every day is a new beginning and a new ending it's a chance to enjoy life breathe freely think and be grateful give every day the chance to be the most beautiful day of your life good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and my dear friends i'm pratibha and i'm swarali we deem it our pleasure to welcome each and every one of you gathered here today to be a part of annual day celebration Pratibha, we have such a wonderful audience, don't we? Of course, Varali, we all have gathered here to witness the annual day celebration. Do you know the significance of annual day? Yes, the celebration is a significant one as it provides a platform for the students to showcase their talents. They get a chance to step onto the stage and conquer their fear. The function has its own charm and the students and teachers put in all possible efforts to make this day a memorable one. Students who excel in academics and co-curriculars are awarded certificates. Everybody gets an opportunity to work as a team. So, without much ado, let us go on a journey of performances that our friends will be putting up before you. Sit, Sit back, back and enjoy. enjoy.
ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಮಿತ್ರರೇ ಮಹಿಷಾಸುರ ಮರ್ದಿನಿ ದುರ್ಗಾದೇವಿಯ ವಿವಿಧ ಅವತಾರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಜಗತ್ತನ್ನು ಕಾಯುವ ಆನಂದಮಯಿಯಾದ ಮಹಾಶಕ್ತಿಯಾದ ದುರ್ಗಾದೇವಿಯ ದುರ್ಗಾದೇವಿಯಾದ ಸಿಂಹವಾಹಿನಿ ದೇವಿಯು ಮಹಿಷಾಸುರನ ಮರ್ದಿಸಿ ಜಗತ್ತನ್ನು ಕಾಪಾಡುವ ನೃತ್ಯ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ friends for the wonderful performance now we have chinmaya fourth c with us to fill this program with laughter and with her amazing stand up comedy hello ಸುಮಾ ಎದ್ದೇಳಮ್ಮ ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಕೆಲ್ಸಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇರೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ತಿಂಡಿ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಹೊರಟೆ ಆಯ್ತಮ್ಮ ದಿನಾಲು ಕೆಲಸ ಹೊರಟೆ ಆಯ್ತಮ್ಮ 
क्यों चिन्मयी हमारे देश में भारत माता को मातृ देवी के रूप में देखा जाता है उसे भारत आम्बा भी कहते हैं भारत वर्ष में ऐसे कई वीर स्त्रियों ने जन्म लिया है जिनका हर क्षेत्र में अपना स्थान है भारत पर जब अंग्रेजों का राज था तब भी ऐसे वीरांगनाओं ने जन्म लिया जिन्होंने भारत की स्वतंत्रता के लिए अपने जान तक दे दी भारत में स्त्री शक्ति कोई नई बात नहीं है झांसी की रानी कित्तूर रानी चन्नम्मा उनके उपवा रानी अब्बक्का कितने नाम लू तो जोरदार तालियों के साथ स्वागत कीजिए मेरे दोस्तों का जो इन्हीं रानियों की वीर गाथा पर पेश करेंगे नृत्य नाटक
ತನ್ನ ಮಗನನ್ನು ಬೆನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊತ್ತಿಕೊಂಡು ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಹೋರಾಡಿದ ಮೊದಲ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಹೋರಾಟಗಾರ್ತಿಯೇ ಝಾನ್ಸಿ ರಾಣಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಬಾಯಿ ಹೈದರಾಳಿಯ ಸೇನೆಯು ಕೋಟೆಗೆ ನುಗ್ಗುತ್ತಿರುವುದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಶತ್ರು ಸೇನೆಯ ರುಂಡವನ್ನು ಚೆಂಡಾಡಿದ ದಿಟ್ಟ ಮಹಿಳೆ ಒನಕೆ ಒಬ್ಬವ್ವ ಪೋರ್ಚುಗೀಸರೊಡನೆ ಯುದ್ಧವಾಡಿ ಭಾರತ ಕಂಡ ಮಾತ್ರವಲ್ಲದೆ ವಿದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಹೆಸರು ಮಾಡಿದವರೇ ವೀರರಾಣಿ ಅಬ್ಬಕ್ಕ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷರನ್ನು ಎದುರಿಸಿ ಭಯಾನಕ ಯುದ್ಧದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ಸಾಹಸವನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸಿದ ಧೈರ್ಯಶಾಲಿಯೇ ಕಿತ್ತೂರಿನ ರಾಣಿ ಚೆನ್ನಮ್ಮ for the wonderful performance let us now move forward and be ready to listen to mesmerizing voice of miss krishna shri udpi of class 5 c ಸಲಂದೆ ಹೋಗಳ ತಂದೆ ಪೂಜಿ ಸಲಂದೆ ಹೋಗಳ ತಂದೆ ದರುಶಣ ಕೋರಿ ನಾನಿಂದೆ ತೆರೆಯೋ ಬಾಗಿಲನು ರಾಮ ಪೂಜಿಸಲೆಂದೆ ಹೋಗಳ ತಂದೆ ಮೋಡದ ಮೇಲೆ ಚಿನ್ನದ ನೀರು ಚೆಲ್ಲುತ ಸಾಗಿದೆ ಹೊನ್ನಿನ ತೇರು ಮೋಡದ ಮೇಲೆ ಚಿನ್ನದ ನೀರು ಚೆಲ್ಲುತ ಸಾಗಿದೆ ಹೊನ್ನಿನ ತೇರು ಮಾಣಿಕದಾರತಿ ಸವೇ ಕಿನ್ನೂ 
स्वामी तेरे यो बागिलनो रामा पूजिसलन दे हो गलतन दे दरुशन कोरी नानिंदे पूजिसलन्दे हो गलतन्दे Krishna Shri. Now, presenting before you a filmy dance which sounds out a loud message about the empowerment of women. So the students of Standard 3rd are eagerly waiting to entertain you audience. Five, four, three, two, one. Gun, 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 gun. Are you? Nothing, Sahana. Just admiring the beauty. 
beauty of nature. It is so captivating and enchanting. Yes, it is. Don't you think it's our duty to preserve it too? Yes. People are so busy in their lives that we have forgotten our duty towards nature. But there are people who have done everything possible to nurture the environment. Yes, I've heard of Salumaradha Timmaka, Papa Man, Tulsi Gauda and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know more about these women environmentalists. Thank you. Salu Maratha Dilmakka is an environmentalist noted for her work in planting and tending thousands of trees along a 45-kilometer stretch of highway. Born in 1914 in Karnataka, she faced hardships as an agricultural laborer. Having no children, she and her husband started planting trees on the highway stretch between Hulikal and Kudu and nurtured them as their children. It provided shade to the travelers. She has been honored with many accolades, including the Padmushri Award. She is truly an inspiration for generations to come. Ammar is an organic farmer from Tamil Nadu. At the age of 107, she is still active in farming. Born in a small village in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. She is regarded as a pioneer in the field of agriculture. In 2021, she was awarded the Padmushri by the Government of India in recognition of her work in the field. She has also done a lot to encourage women to take up farming. Her life is inspirational in more ways than one. Tulsi Gowda, despite not receiving any formal education, is known around the world as the Encyclopedia of the Forest, with endless knowledge about plants and herbs. Born in a poor chapel family in Uttara Kannada district, she worked as a laborer in a local nursery. She is known for her innate ability to identify mother trees and expertise in harvesting seeds to regrow plant species. She is believed to have planted over 1 lakh saplings on her own. She continues to share her knowledge with children in the village. Inspiring women indeed, aren't they? All these environmentalists have inspired us and have definitely given a message that age, degrees are just a number. It is our perseverance that makes the impossible possible. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now watch a dance on nature. Five, four, three, two, one.
Women have made significant contribution to space missions across the globe since the early days of space exploration. Kalpana Chawla was one of them. She was an Indian-born American astronaut and aerospace engineer who was the first woman of Indian origin to fly to space. She first flew on Space Shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator. Six years later, on February 1, 2003, Chawla died when the Space Shuttle Columbia broke a boundary entry in Earth's atmosphere, killing all seven astronauts on board. In all her years at NASA and in all her pursuits, Kalpana Chawla was always determined to think outside the box and look past any challenge. Her legacy is one which encourages young girls and women everywhere to dare to dream of the stars and never let society's preconceived notions and biases hold them back. While women scientists and engineers have been contributing to each of ISRO's programs for decades, Chandrayaan-3 particularly saw more than 100 women play a critical role in conceptualizing, designing, realizing, testing and executing the mission. Ritu Karidal, Sumanawal K, Nandini Harinath, Anuradha TK are few women scientists who have made their mark in ISRO's achievements. I feel proud to mention that Sumana Valki is an alumna of Kendra Institution. It is rightly said, believe in yourself. You are braver than you think, more talented than you know and capable of more than you imagine. Purina 
a book Ashlesh yes i krishna i am just wondering how lucky we are to be able to read and write yes you are right we are indeed so lucky that we are able to read and write but i feel few don't take pains to educate themselves they prefer to be illiterate throughout their lives no sai krishna people who want to gain knowledge can do it at any point in life let me show you an example that will prove age is just a number will perseverance and determination is what a person needs to succeed in life come on let us watch it Kartenia Mark was an Indian woman who passed a literacy examination with top marks at the age of 96. She was born in 1922 in the state of Kerala. As a child, she had to work and therefore stopped attending school. She was married and had six children. She worked as a street sweeper and a maid. She in August 2018, inspired by her doctor, she took an examination alongside thousands of other people. tested on reading writing and mathematics kartyani amma scored 98 out of a possible 100 marks giving her the top grade she serves as an inspiring role model for me showing unwavering determination to pursue education despite challenges commonwealth of learning awarded a certificate to kartyani amma quotes you have shown that education and learning can be a joyous activity defying age and circumstances She died on 10th October 2023 at the age of 101. She has become a beacon of inspiration for lifelong learning. The determination that tiny amma had to be able to achieve that at the age of 96. She is indeed an inspiration to all of us that nothing is impossible in life. Dear audience, let us now watch a dance on the importance of education in one's life. सूरज है निकला हो रहा है अब उजाला आंखें खोलू हमको भी है लिखना पढ़ना हमको भी है आगे बढ़ना तुम भी बोलो शिक्षका सूरज है निकला सकता उसके सामने जैसे अंधेरा है जो नहीं कर सकता उसको एक मजबूरी में घेरा है कितनी ही मजबूरिया शिक्षा मिटा देगी
शु और नारी इनमें से हो एक भी अनपर तो ये कठिनाई है बारी नारी पढ़ लेगी तो अपने बच्चों को भी वो Thank you friends for the wonderful performance. Now Sachin of 5th C is front of us to entertain us by melodious and soothing music.
ಮಹಾದ ಸಚಿನ್ ನವರಾತ್ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ದೇವಿಯನ್ನು ವಿವಿಧ ರೂಪಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆರಾಧಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಪಂಕಜಲೋಚನೆ ಮಂಜುಭಾಷಿಣಿ ಸಾಮಗಾನ ಪ್ರಿಯಳಾದ ದೇವಿಯನ್ನು ಸ್ತುತಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುವ ನೃತ್ಯ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯ ವೀಣ ಮುಬಲಾಲಯಂತಿ ಮಾಣಿಕ್ಯ ವೀಣ ಮುಬಲಾಲಯಂತಿ ಮದಾಲಸ ಮನ್ ಮಾಗೇಂದ್ರ ನೀಲ ಜ್ಯುತಿ ಕೋಮಲಾಗಿ ಮಾತಂಗ ಕನ್ಯ ಮನಸ ಜನ್ನಿ ಮೃದು ಪಂಕಜ ಲೋಚನಿ ಜನ್ನಿ ಮೃದು ಪಂಕಜ ಲೋಚನಿ ಜನ್ನಿ ಮೃದು ಪಂಕಜ ಲೋಜನಿ ಜನ್ನಿ ಮೃದು ಪಂಕಜ ಲೋಜನಿ ಜನ್ನಿ ಮೃದು by manvi dp of class 50 b to entertain us with the energetic steps
ಬಾಕ್ಯಾಡು ಗುಬ್ಬುಗ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂಬೆ ದ ಬಾಕ್ಯಾಡು ಗುಬ್ಬುಗ ಹರಿ ತಂಬೆ ದ ಬಾಕ್ಯಾಡು ಗುಬ್ಬುಗ ನಮ್ಮ ತಂಬೆ ದ ಬಾಕ್ಯಾಡು ಗುಬ್ಬುಗ Five, four, three, two, one.
the first female doctor and the first Indian woman to obtain a two-year medical degree in the United States. Now, my friends are going to perform a dance. <laughs> कई कलाकार पले बड़े हैं और कुछ लोग अपनी जान भी भारत माता के लिए गवा दी जिसमें नीरजा बानो जी भी है जो एक फ्लाइट अटेंडर थी और हवाई जहाज पर आतंकवादी हमले होने पर बहादुरी से कई लोगों के जान बचाए प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं लड़कियां एक नृत्य उन पर Five, four, three, two, one.
कर नृत्य जगत की हमारी मशहूर कलाकार सुधा चंद्र जी की जीवन गता तो आपने सुनी ही होगी
What a wonderful dance performance it was. Our country has countless women achievers to feel proud of. Here are a few depictions of women who have made us proud by their achievements. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa is referred to as idol of generosity. Started her participation in social service at the age of 18. She served the needy irrespective of caste, creed or economic status. She spent the major years of her life in India. Missionary of Charity was established by her in 1950. She dedicated her entire life helping the poor, sick, lepers, orphaned and the dying. She was awarded with Nobel Prize in 1979. Government of India awarded Padma Shri and Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award for her dedicated and selfless work for humanity. Sudha Murthy She is an Indian businesswoman, educator, author, philanthropist, social worker and writer. She began her professional career in computer science and engineering and became the first female engineer hired at India's largest auto manufacturer Telco, loving mother and a dedicated wife, who joined her husband to establish a coveted company, Infosys. She is known for her humble nature and simplicity. She has won India's fourth highest civilian award, Padma Shri. She is an inspiration to many people over the world. Born in Punjab, Kiran Bedi took active part in NCC in her school days. She became the first female police officer in India to join the police department. She started meditation and introduced some literacy programs in jails. She is also a social worker and a tennis player. She received the prestigious Raman Magsasay Award for her remarkable effort in establishing good and cordial ties between the police and the people. Daring, fearless, exemplary person, powerful orator and a role model to youth of India. She was working as a lieutenant governor of Puducherry until February 2021. Born as Manjunath Shetty, life has not been a bed of roses for B. Manjama Jogati. 
a transgender folk artist from Ballari district of Karnataka. There were difficult times and her journey was painful. In 2019, she became the first transgender to be the president of Janapada Academy, state's top institutions for folk dance. In 2021, she received Padma Shri Award from the president Ramnath Kovind for her contribution to the field of folk art. Sulagitti Narasamma was born in the Tumkuru district of Karnataka. She was part of a hilly mountain tribe called Adi Janbava and spoke Telugu as a child. She did not attend school and was married at a very young age. She performed 20,000 traditional deliveries free of charge over a 7-day year period of service in deprived regions of Karnataka with no medical facilities. In addition to helping women deliver their babies, she also learned how to prepare natural medicine for pregnant women. She did not keep her knowledge to herself but trained 180 students in midwifery. Her work earned her national recognition. She won several awards for her work. Her work was honored with Padma Shri in 2018. Draupadi Murmu was born to a Santal tribe family, a remote village in Orissa. She faced many hardships and societal oppression. Before joining politics, she was a teacher. She was the first woman governor of Jharkhand. She was the first scheduled tribe woman to be nominated for and won the president position. As a member of the tribal community, her work for the people is truly remarkable. She earns respect and fame because of her humble political image. She was selected for various prestigious positions in India due to her down-to-earth nature and strong work ethics. Indira Gandhi was born in Allahabad. She was the daughter of Jawaharlal Nehru and Kamala Nehru. She had leadership qualities in her childhood. She was the first woman Prime Minister and was known as the Iron Lady due to her strong decision making for the nation. She also nationalized all the existing banks back then so that common people can enjoy more convenience. Under her reign, she showed the entire world that what women is capable of. She received the highest civilian honor Bharat Ratna in 1971. ತೊಟ್ಟಿಲು ತೂಗುವ ಕೈ ದೇಶವನ್ನೇ ಆಳಬಲ್ಲಳು ಅಂತೆಯೇ ಹೆಣ್ಣೊಂದು ಕಲಿತರೆ ಶಾಲೆಯೊಂದು ತೆರೆದಂತೆ ಈ ಮಾತಿನಂತೆ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಒಂದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಎಂಬುದನ್ನು ಮನಗಾಣಬಹುದಾಗಿದೆ ನಾರಿ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಎಂಬುದು ಈಗಿನ ಚರ್ಚಾಸ್ಪದ ವಿಷಯವಲ್ಲ ಪುರಾಣ ಕಾಲದಿಂದಲೂ ನಾರಿ ಶಕ್ತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖವಿದೆ ಮಾತೆ ಆದಿಶಕ್ತಿಯಿಂದಾಗಿ ಅನೇಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪೀಠಗಳ ಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯಾಯಿತು ವೇದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಪುರಾಣ ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರವಲ್ಲದೆ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮಹಾಭಾರತದಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಮಹಿಳೆಯ ಆದರ್ಶ ಮತ್ತು ಮೌಲ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಪಡಿಸಲಾಗಿದೆ ಮಹಿಳೆ ತಾಯಿ ಪತ್ನಿ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಪುತ್ರಿಯಾಗಿ ವಿವಿಧ ಹಂತಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನದೇ ಆದ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಬಲ್ಲಳು ಎಂಬುದೇ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯ ಪ್ರತೀಕವಾಗಿದೆ ಮಹಿಳೆಯೊಂದು ಅದ್ಭುತ ಸಬಲ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಹಿಂದಿನಿಂದಲೂ ಈ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಕಾರ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನನ್ನು ತಾನು ತೊಡಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗಳು ಅನೇಕ ಮಹಿಳಾ ಸಬಲೀಕರಣ ಎಂದರೆ ಮಹಿಳೆಯನ್ನು ಎಲ್ಲ ರಂಗದಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಸಬಲರನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಎಂಬ ಅರ್ಥ ಈ ಆಧುನಿಕ ಯುಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯು ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನ ಪರಿಣಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಹೆಜ್ಜೆ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಗೂ ಸಾಧಿಸಿ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ತನ್ನನ್ನು ಅಬಲೆಯಲ್ಲ ಎಂದು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಿಂದ ಸಾರಿದ್ದಾಳೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ರೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಆಂಥಮ್ ಜನ <laughs>
ಗಣಮನಾಧಿನಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಪಂಜಾಬ ಸಿಂಧು ಗುಜರಾತ ಮರಾಠ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ಉತ್ಕಲ ಬಂಗಾ ವಿಂಧ್ಯ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ಗಂಗಾ ಉಚ್ಚಲ ಜಲದಿ ತರಂಗ ತವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೆ ಜಾಗೆ ತವ ಶುಭ ಶಿಷ ಮಾಗೆ ಗಾಹೆ ತವ ಜಯ ಗಾತ ಜನಗಣ ಮಂಗಳದಾ 